Hello and welcome to the double header here at DME versus IMG. First, we have DME post grab Black getting on the board here with Felipe. Um, this is Matt Panaggio. I'm joined by Coach Stephen Kenner. Man, what an exciting day we have today, Coach. We got two really good programs going at each other today. High intensity. A lot of people are coming out to watch the game today. It's going to be a show. I'm, I'm pretty excited, bro. Yeah, and, and it's always, uh, you know, a little bad blood between these two teams. Uh, last year, uh, DME went down and, and beat up on IMG. Uh, we won two out of three games, lost one game by one point. Um, earlier this year, we split, right? You, yep. beat their, you beat this team that's playing now. And then... Um, yeah, we went down to their place, and uh, post-grad White was able to, to pull off a victory there. And uh, Blue, we, we kind of struggle against their mm -hmm. top team. But uh, it's, it's going to be good to uh, get this revenge right here and play here on our own home court. Definitely. Uh, so, I, like I said, it's, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, it's, it's always, um, you know, a whole different ball game when you're playing at home. Um, you know, after watching our Blue team play their top team uh, last time, it didn't look like we were super confident playing on the road it was the last game before break you know I, I'm excited to see how they come out today playing at home they've won a bunch of games in a row uh, they're feeling confident so hopefully they can come out strong and and so far uh, DME Black's done a good job to start this game they and are they they are you know coach Kevin really talked about uh, competing competing from the beginning of the game mm -hmm. to the very end you know I think uh, a lot of times when young players get uh, get faced with adversity, they don't know how to respond in a, in a reasonable manner. And, uh, and that's what kind of happened with uh, the blue team when we went down to IMG. You know, we kind of got punched in the mouth. And uh, we, we and, and it was quick. You yeah. know, IMG jumped on us very quick and ended up uh, getting 20 points, 30 points ahead of us, and we didn't know how to respond. And so, uh, you know, Coach Kevin watched a lot of film. He's been talking to his guys about how to stay poised and within the game and not get caught up in the, uh, in the up pace tempo. And uh, right now, you know, these guys are locking in defensively. Uh, it's a close game right now, five to four with 18 minutes to play in the first half. And, and Black is holding their own. And I, and I like what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Right there, that was a great play by Tyrese getting to the rim. IMG doing a good job on these pick and rolls on the empty side. And right there, offensive rebound starting to hurt DME. And that's a bucket for IMG. Couple lead changes so far. Right now, IMG holds on to a one point lead. They now use the Ali screen. Backdoor cut, and that is a turnover. And, and again, for this DME black team, an Achilles heel for them all year from uh, watching a bunch of their games has been turning the ball over. And, and they got to do a better job of taking care of the ball. Making the extra pass is one thing they've been really working on in practice. But they cannot afford to let uh, the momentum get the best of them where they start dropping their head. Uh, and that was, I like that. That was a little heat check in transition, wide open, three. For Kareem, just didn't fall, uh, you know, and but they can't get into this seesaw battle. They can't start exchanging baskets with IMG. Yep. They're going to have to get in and get some stops or another terminology that we've been really focusing on this past couple of weeks is uh, heal. Yep. You know, if they can get three stops in a row, that's two right there. So the next one we'll try to get a kill. Yeah, and, and building those stop how you're going to gain momentum if you're just scoring and they're scoring scoring and they're scoring um, you know the lead's never going to change and, and right there DME did a good job getting a stop turning it into easy offense for Bailey IMG now middle drive skip pass three pointer weird looking shot but no good that's that's a kill that's for a DME kill. three stops in a row Kareem open for three you know Coach, I have been so impressed with Kareem, especially in the in the last 
couple weeks after January, um, playing with a lot of confidence. And it starts with his teammates sharing the ball. You know, uh, it's they're tr they starting to trust each other. They starting to help each other out. Just like right here, look at that switch on the on the on the dribble handoff, and then he tried to attack middle, and I leave brought back and got a steal. Now I leave you for three. I mean, these guys are playing with so much confidence right now. And you may not know it, Ali, that's his first basket. But his defense has been great. He's got already got two steals. He is, um, uh, you know, rotating really well and, and doing a good job on the defensive end. And this is where we got to excel in. Ah, uh, you got – yep, that was tough. You know, if – if Kareem sprints the, the the lane, if he sprint, sprints down this sideline and go deep into the corner like we've been teaching them, you know, and yep. and Ty holds on to the ball just a little bit longer to give him a chance to get that. That's an open you know open three for him down in the corner, and he wouldn't pick up that uh, offensive charge there. And Kareem checks out of the game, and in comes Jalen. And I think you know Jalen. Is, is a good guy to have in a press. You know, he's, he's a little bit of a longer guard, athletic, um, and aggressive. I think, I think he's a good, a good guy to have in that press, and right there gets the steal, or forces the turnover. And Bailey with a big three. And that's three big threes right there for DME. They're, they're into this 2-2-1 two, two, uh, token press here. IMG beats it this time, and and now they are uh, it's not bad. I, I like that right there. We tried to do a little blitz action on the on the high ball screen, where we trapped the guy with the ball, and the other guy just was able to slip it. Uh, and out of bounds, looks like it was deflected off of DME. So it'll be IMG basketball. Um, but what a, what a nice little run here DME is making. Um, and, it, and it's been a team effort. We've got five guys who have scored uh, so far in this game. But Six. they got to get the 50-50 balls, though, mm -hmm. Coach. Yep. They got to because that's going to separate uh, the winners and the losers, especially when the game is tight down the line. Yep. <clears throat> Extra possessions. Yes. Really make the difference. And right there, there's an extra possession for IMG on the offensive rebound. Get the ball inside. Nice little shimmy, little mid-range jump shot. That's a nice play there for IMG, and they cut this lead to three. Coach Kevin calling out some offense here for this team. Tyrese has done a good job running the show for he, DME. He has been a... Uh a huge difference maker for this program. Yep. Coming in, running the point guard position, really being the coach on the floor for this mm -hmm. for this team here, which allowed Jalen to move and kind of be more of a scoring guard instead of a uh, true point guard. Yep. Jalen definitely can play both, on the ball, off the ball. Yep. I think Tyrese is better on the ball, um, you know, running the show. Right there, shuffles the pass to Jalen. He gets to the basket. Looks like he was fouled, no call, but he finishes strong at the rim. Um, and, and again, getting the ball to Jalen on a closeout instead of he's dribbling the ball up the floor, a little easier to make a play. Here's your guy with a steal and a layup. Look at Ali taking it <coughs> coast to coast. And IMG going to call timeout here.
we can hear it. And we are back. 20 to 13, 12 minutes to go in this first half. DME came out strong into the game. After the timeout is uh, Scotty Dishman, Matt Larson, and Chris Warner. Chris Warner's been an energy guy for this team all season. Excited to see him play. Scotty now comes up with the steal and looks to run some offense. Over to Matt Larson. Matt Larson had 20, what was it, Coach? 25, 28 points last game. Mm -hmm. Right there, comes in and makes a beautiful decision off the pick and roll and finds Felipe. And I think they need to do more of that. They definitely need to do more of trying to get the ball inside to the big guy. And what they were doing right there was trying to play a little two-man game on the wing here uh, where there was no help side defense. And if Felipe can, uh, you know, can get that slip action or kind of roll and get a mismatch on him, they want to try to get him the ball as much as possible so he can get to the free throw line mm -hmm. to do this here. Felipe now with three points. And what a key for this team Felipe is. The anchor to their defense. He's really their best diver to the rim off mm -hmm. of these screens. Um, he, he's so valuable to this team. Even if he doesn't have 30 points in a game, he <laughs> makes his mark, and, and you feel him. He's if, more of a uh, blue-collar worker. You know? Yeah, yeah. He, he's going to be the guy that's going to get in there do all the grimy stuff and, and, and really work hard and, and kind of be that, that presence mm -hmm. around the basket uh, so that these guards can really uh, stretch the floor out. Yeah, and, and they have some shooters. And, and he's such an unselfish yeah. player and kid. Um, really, really a great, um, you know, pickup for this, for this team. Um, and, and he's very valuable. Coach Kevin going to a 2-3 defense here. Shot clock is down to 10. IMG, not sure if they realize it. Right there, turnover, Chris Warner with the steal. Matt Larson drives it to the basket. Left-hand finish, and that is good off the bench, Matt Larson. He's, he's really uh, starting to pick up in this second half of the season as well, scoring the basketball. I think he's starting to really understand his role. And, you know, one thing we, all, we constantly talk about it, is not hunting for your own shots. Yep. And he's starting to feel that, hey, look, I don't have to hunt for my shots. I can get my shots in the flow of the offense. My teammates trust me, and they're going to find me. I just got to make the right plays. Yep, and right there, Q, two back-to-back -back possessions, finds Matt Larson for buckets. That must They must be best friends or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, that's what you want from your point guard, though. Yeah, yeah. You, your point guard has got to be the most unselfish person on the floor. Yep, and, and, and they have to be able to penetrate the defense. In the last two possessions, Q did that. And and DME is really locking down this IMG team. 13 points in the first 10 minutes. Not bad defense. And once again, Matt Larson made another play defensively. Mm -hmm. You know, he was uh, trying to save the ball and threw the ball right back into the IMG guy who was standing one foot out of bounds. And uh, we were able to get the ball back again. A little pick and roll here. Matt refuses it. Drives it straight to the basket. Looked like a little contact. No, no call. IMG looks to run transition here. Strong drive. No good offensive rebound. Blocked by Chris Warner. Up the floor to Jalen. And he loves that left-handed finish. And that is good. He's now got four points for DME. And it started with... The Started with Chris, your high energy guy, mm -hmm. protecting the rim. He's the leading rebounder on this team. We got a travel here right in front of us, Matt. Yeah, and this this two two one, it's not they haven't really trapped much, but it's really um, you know been effective. Right there, picking up the turnover from IMG. It's really forcing IMG to get out of their comfort zone, not being able to just come down and just run something. Uh, and even though they're not really trying to get a steal, it just puts too much pressure on them. And Jalen, beautiful crossover and left-handed finish in the front of the rim. He's a really talented scoring guard for DME. Chris Warner finds Q, 
Again, Q finding the open man. Scotty unable to knock down the triple. But Q gets the steal. I've been really impressed with Q today. He is uh, he is being a floor general right now, man. He's, mm -hmm. he's being unselfish. He's been attacking the paint, making the extra pass. He could have shot the three, and he gave it back up to Scotty, who, who started that break off the first Bang. time. And now here Q is three. They reward him. Coach, this bench for this DME black team has been energizing and and really been exciting to watch, led by Q, uh, Chris Warner, Matt, and also Jalen have made some big plays so far today. And it's, it's a huge plus when you can go to uh, the, your bench and they can really give you that type of energy. Uh, and you don't fall off. Everybody's focused and locked in and sharing the ball and helping each other out. You know. <clears throat> right there, that's a turnover. And Chris Warner, what a great hustle play. Not giving up on the on the possession, but does pick up the foul. And IMG will go to the free throw line. Gustavo gonna check into the game. Gustavo comes to DME from Florianapolis, Brazil. And he likes to play around the basket. I haven't got a chance to watch Gustavo. I've seen him a couple times in practice, and mm -hmm. he's been looking good. He's been improving since he's gotten here. He's trusting his game, and uh, he's, he's, I've seen him put an extra work in, Coach, and that's what we keep trying to tell these guys. Yep. You have to put in extra work, not just in practice. It's got to be outside of it. And IMG goes to this 1-3-1. They've been known to do that. Um, Last year they ran a 1-3-1. This year looks the same. Uh, not super aggressive, though. They're not trapping. I know Coach Wes likes to run a 1-3-1 here at DME. It, it disrupts a lot of uh, offenses right there. Jalen finds an open Q, and, man, Q has been great We today. have been hot from behind the arc today, Coach. It's, it's amazing. And we're flying around everywhere defensively. Yeah, the energy has been really, really good. And, um, you know, it, it hasn't just been one guy. It's no. been a lot of guys. Every guy that's getting on the floor is playing defense to the style that Coach Kevin wants them to play. And uh, I have not seen this from this, this program. Yeah. Uh, it's, I am really impressed. Yeah, I haven't seen this type of energy from this team maybe all year. And it, it, it's, it's exciting to watch. 22 point lead and and the biggest part about it is they only have 15 points IMG you know and and that's really really um you know impressive for this DME defense definitely definitely only scoring five points within the last four minutes hey man that's you know we talked about getting kills and and we're making them pay oh yeah Bailey right there with the bucket he's now got seven points for DME Nearly a steal there for DME. Skip pass, three-pointer, bang. That was fun. They, they, they contested the three. They tried to run him off the three-point line. Mm -hmm. uh, i take that, you know. Bailey's three is just short, no good, and here comes IMG. Yeah, 
Nice strong drive there, no good. Offensive rebound. And right there, Gustavo picks up the foul. Coach, we've had a couple turnovers, but we've also given up a bunch of offensive rebounds, and that, you know, that, that can be scary, especially late into the, this game. But right now, you know, the biggest thing that this program cannot accept right now is being relaxed and knowing that, hey, we have the lead, we're doing good. You, Coach Kevin still has got to put – keep that uh, – their feet to the fire, mm -hmm. so to speak, so that they understand that, hey, you know, basketball is a game that runs and this thing can turn around in any moment. But we have to continue to do the little things, which is going to continue to bring success for us. Yep, definitely. I mean, it's, it's almost like a college game where momentum can easily swing and, you know, your 20-point lead turns into a five-point lead. Yep. Tyrese checks back into this game. He finds Gustavo right away. His his jumper in the middle of the paint is no good. Right there, DME's or IMG's one three one look to disrupt the DME offense. Not a lot of ball movement. And IMG gets inside the paint. Again, another foul from DME. That is the seventh team foul. Uh to IMG's only two. So IMG for the rest of the half will be shooting. And, and that's partly because DME is being a little bit more aggressive. You know, they're being mm – -hmm. I can actually say we, we actually have some dogs on the floor. Yeah. I mean that in a good way because these guys are actually hounding the guys with the balls and, uh, and making them make bad passes, make bad decisions, which leads to easy transition points. And I think Coach Kevin really likes that, you know, that these guys are buying in to play defense. And, you know, it's contagious when one guy um, – it, it really just takes one guy yeah. to start to play the right way offensively or defensively, you know. And, and as soon as that happens, um, you know, this is what you see. And, and this, so far, could be their best half of basketball um, maybe all year. But it's not over yet. No, Still a long time you're, to go. You're right. You're right. And IMG now – Again, another offensive rebound. Looks like Jalen comes up with the deflection there. It goes out of bounds. But um, these offensive rebounds are starting to hurt DME. Inbounds play. And that is an and one. The foul will be on Felipe. I don't know if, if he's got two now. I, I believe he does because Coach Kevin immediately taking him out. Chris is going to check back into the game. IMG doesn't seem to be the best shooting team, but they're really making a living around the rim. Well, right now, Coach, they just scored nine points in two minutes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we talked about the game being yeah. game of runs. This 1-3-1 this one, one is, is giving us some problems. Definitely. Chris, nice strong drive. Just misses the layup, but very beautiful play from Chris. And he's a versatile kind of player. He can play inside. He can play outside. He can shoot the ball. Um, right there showing his guard skills. First free throws up and good. That is Chris's first point of the game. And now DME has had nine players um, score out of this 40 points so far in this first half. Second one's no good for Chris, and, and uh, DME's in this. Uh, looks like. They're still in there. Yeah, it looks like they're in a man-to-man -man defense. Right yeah. there again. Help was a little late. Weak side. There was no weak side help on that one. Yep. He did the right thing. You know, all three of our programs, everybody in, in the program, we talk about forcing them baseline, no middle penetration. Mm -hmm. And uh, right there, Ali did a great job. But we just didn't have the rotation on the backside. Yeah, it's, it's, it's no good to force them baseline and then not help. You know, if, if, if you're going to do that, you might as well just guard them straight up. But um, – Right there, a little miscommunication, and, and it turns into two points for IMG, and this lead 
is slowly, um, you know, disappearing. Yes, it is. Yeah. And it's because of this 1-3-1 one, one that IMG yeah. is in. It's, it has kind of slowed us down, not allowed us to, to penetrate into the heart of their uh, – into the lane. Yeah. And uh, now we're just settling. And uh, IMG does not even have to work that hard in that zone. Yeah, they, they've done a really good job making all of DME's passes slower passes, higher passes. And the best way to beat a zone is right there in transition uh, before the zone sets up. And, and right there, good job by the two point guards, Tyrese and Jalen, in, in making a good play. Back into the game is Kareem. Kareem is the shooter, very good shooter, beautiful looking stroke from Qatar. They got six on the floor. What's, what's going on here? IMG's got six. Should be a t uh, technical foul, but um, I got away with that yesterday in our middle school game, so I won't <laughs> complain. And Tyrese will shoot two here. First one's up and good. Ty's got three points now. And Tyrese knocks it down both, and Matt Larson will check back into the game for Jalen. Jalen um, played a really good stretch there. He did. He did. Uh, only has six points, but he m left his mark on the game. Kareem oh, with the steal. Nice, Kareem. He's on the fast break, and he finishes right off the bench. Kareem comes in. Now he's got five. Back-to-back yes. -back steals, and Bailey is fouled. DME's going to get a chance to play half-court defense or offense here. Um, but And look at that. Two back-to-back -back plays, and DME is now up 19 again. Matt deflected. IMG with the steal. Open shooter on the perimeter. Bang. Turnover leads to easy baskets on the other end. Especially transitions. You got to yep. get back and, and uh, protect your basket and, and not give up easy transition baskets. Yep. And here they come again. Kareem slows down the ball handler, but Ball goes inside. Shot no good. Deflected out of bounds. DME basketball. These next three and a half minutes, DME has got to be able to control the tempo. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of work the shot clock a little bit. Get great looks because IMG is back into their 1-3-1 one, one here. Looks a little bit less aggressive um, for this 1-3-1. One, but DME trying to penetrate right through these gaps, and the ball keeps getting deflected. So another turnover and leads to another open three-pointer. That one's no good. Tyrese with the rebound. And he finds Kareem to Ali, and you know Ali likes those corners. But it's no good. But guess who? And Kareem gets the offensive rebound, but it's a jump ball. And it should be... I think it should be DME ball, but they're going to give it to IMG. The next one's ours, Coach. Yep, next we, one's ours. Should we, be at least. We can't get everything. DME in their man-to-man -man defense. And steal from Kareem. Slow down. We got numbers here. Bailey is going to raise up and almost missed it there. That's why I always tell my guys, use the backboard. Use the backboard. It's your best friend. Yep. And IMG going to slow the pace here. Use a little high pick and roll. Balls to the corner. Good ball movement from IMG. Shot clock winding down. And layup is no good. Ball goes up to Q. Q drives it. Skip pass just stolen from the weak side help. And 
and open three-pointer in the corner is good. They're gonna, oh, they're going to give him a two. So it's a two there. Once again, it's, it comes back to us playing, uh, actually not even playing, it's communicating. Right now we're not talking on defense, and we got two and three guys running at one person with the ball. And here's that 1-3-1. One, one. That's a great baseline drive for uh, Matt there. Beautiful play. There was no help on that backside. He was able to read it correctly. And again, Matt's been playing great basketball the last couple games. He had a season high last game. I believe it was 25 points. And Bailey's going to raise up and flush one. Bailey now with nine points. And IMG's going to call timeout here. Diamond press this time, and IMG frantically gets through it, and they find an open layup. Got to protect the basket, and DME's up to an 18-point lead. Silly turnover there, and that's what the 1-3-1's the one, one's gonna do, an offensive rebound on the missed layup, but Scotty fight, tips Scottie. it to Tyrese, and Tyrese now, we have numbers. They find Matt Larson in the corner, three-pointer, no good. Rebounded by Matt, finds Scotty to Q. And Q's gonna slow it down here. Scotty knocks down a triple. Great he's he's known for shooting the ball. That was nice looking jumper. Yes, sir. Q gets the steal here, and Demi's going to have seven seconds to score. And I believe this is their largest lead at 21 with a chance to grow it. Tyrese, crossover, finds Matt. Three-pointer just off the market, rattles out. And we DME will go into the half up 53-32.
Welcome back for the second half of the first game of the doubleheader of DME versus IMG. This is Matt Panaggio joined again by Coach Stephen Kenner. It's been an exciting contest so far. Same starting lineup for DME. And we're off. 53-32. And IMG opens up back in that 1-3-1. Kind of a soft token type pressure. And Bailey goes up for the lob and uh, finishes it home. What a great uh, execution and great way to start off the second half. Great job. Great poise and patience for uh, DME right there understanding what to look for, uh, not having IMG, not having that backside help in that 1-3-1. One, one. You know, I, I know Coach Kevin really talked about attacking the gaps within that 1-3-1. One, one. And Bailey just snatches it out of his hands. And you and he had great help from Ty. Yeah. Good ball movement, finds the open shooter, Kareem. Man, he has really just been on fire from distance. And they're going back to that 2-2-1 two, two, there. They want to continue to, to keep the pressure on IMG, not let IMG set up into their offense and kind of get a rush shot like what just happened. And I think Coach Kevin loves loves that press as Tyrese makes a good play and gets the end one. I think he loves the press because it's speeding up the pace, and his team is really, really good in transition. It's led by Bailey, big, strong athletic guard, and Tyrese there making the good decision. Um, so I think that's the biggest reason why he does the press. And so far it's been working. It's causing turnovers. It's causing IMG to rush their shots, which allows DME to push the ball in transition and get out and play in transition, something they really enjoy doing, and not have to face that 1-3-1 uh, from IMG. Yep, yep. And this is the largest lead of the game so far at 29 Man, DME has really, really done a good job on both ends of the floor. They're locking in. They're playing aggressively. They're playing. More importantly, they're playing together, Coach. Yep. This is something that uh, is a testament to, to their practices and to their coaching staff and getting the guys to really buy in uh, and making the extra pass and playing for each other. And, Coach, I, I didn't want to interrupt you, but what a great – box out and rebound, and then push up the floor by Tyrese. He's the shortest guy on the floor, but he doesn't mind boxing out those bigger, more physical uh, forwards and centers uh, from IMG. I, I really think uh, Tyrese has picked it up and, and showing all that he can do um, you know, in the last couple games for this uh, Coach Kevin and the black team. He, he is the... He is the coach on the floor. You know, yeah. I got a chance to work with this guy uh, early in the season, and he enjoys uh, putting his teammates in the right spots and communicating mm -hmm. with them, you know. And right now it shows, you know, he's doing all the little dirty work. If he's going to do it, he expects you to do it as well. Definitely. And right there, free throw no good. And Tyrese now against this 1-3-1 one, one, finds Ali, and you know, Coach, that's the wrong corner for Ali. He likes the other corner. Is it but he corner? is a corner specialist. And that's that's a charge. Great play from Ty. Sprinting back, taking the charge. It's a 30-point game, and he's taking a charge. You know, that's that's a big play. It's huge. He's sacrificing his body for it. What is going on here? He sacrificed his body for uh, for the team, man, you know. Yeah. Uh, one of the most unselfish plays in basketball. Oh, yeah. Nice shot fake in pass from Kareem Ali, or uh, Felipe just unable to handle it, and that ball is deflected out of bounds. DME is going to have 14 seconds to score here. Back into Kareem to Bailey. And that is a deep, deep three-point three shot. This this kid can score the basketball. He's got 17 points, um, probably right around his average. But he, he can really score the ball. IMG gets a quick bucket. And Bailey's three-pointer is no good. 
And here comes IMG. Looks like uh, a little miscommunication in transition, and that that's not good. Uh, a good sign for DME. No, it's not. You know, uh, Bailey's got to do a better job and 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 locking in and playing defense. Mm -hmm. uh, that was on him on that one, and he knows it. He even told his teammate, "Hey, that was on me." <clears throat> Turnover from DME right there. Nope. Nobody and stopped. foul in transition. You know, they started this half great, and now Coach Kevin yelling at his guys, trying to motivate them, uh, because in the last couple of possessions bo on both sides, not very good. Not very good defense at all where, you know, you're allowing the guy to push the ball down the middle of the, the lane there, and nobody stops him. Uh, not communicating defensively. Once again, Coach, it's always going to come back to doing the little things. And if you build on the little things, you can be a really great program uh, because you're not taking it for granted, you know. Mm -hmm. Just because you're up uh, 29 points, you got to continue to do the little things because coaches are always watching. We talk about this is your resume. How can you show these college coaches that, hey, I deserve, you know, give me a chance to play for you. You know, this is what I can do for your, you and your program. Yep. Bailey now to Tyrese. Back to Bailey. Open three-point shot. Bang. Bailey got we, himself a 20 ball so far. We talk about these guys making shots, but we need to start talking more about Tyrese uh, mm -hmm. getting these assists. That's an over and back, and, and great defense by, by Kareem. Kareem. Yes, yes. Kareem is a smart basketball player. You know, he, he does a lot of things like that that does not show up on the, on the stat sheet. But it will show up on his highlight, though. Oh, yeah. Because this guy, he gets down and he, he locks in on defense. Bailey's three-pointer is no good. And ball's deflected. It looks like he, call, he called it for DME's basketball. I don't know. Maybe I, I saw it wrong, but I thought there. it was IMG's ball. I would have liked one more pass instead of yep. that quick shot there. I know you just made the last one, but let's you know keep moving around. We can get you that look anytime. And this is a good play, Coach Kevin runs. That Bailey has scored a bunch on right there. IMG gets a deflection and and turnover from DME. We go into a small lineup here with all five uh, guys on the floor are guards. Mm-hmm. And I like it. Jalen gets the deflection and steal as IMG picks up the foul. That'll just be the third team foul. So no free throws yet. But good basketball so far with this small lineup. As that ball is deflected out of bounds. And Scotty Dishman going to check into the game for Kareem. Good play, good execution. Shots no good though. And here comes IMG. Offensive rebound, bucket. Guys are standing around, not putting bodies on each other and boxing somebody out. You know that you, you're a little short on the floor right now because your bigs are in trouble. And uh, we, we haven't seen Chris back in the game. I'm, I'm not sure if he's hurt or anything, but uh, it, right now DME has got to get better at controlling the situation. Yep. and Because uh, they are playing with a smaller lineup. Yep. And even smaller now that Bailey checked out. Yep. Still in that 2-2-1. And that, that was the one that would have been the steal. But not more importantly, they almost got a 10-second violation yeah, call. Yeah, So it, it's working. It takes time off the clock. It forces IMG to kind of scramble. And now look at it. We're seven seconds left in the shot clock. Good defense. defense. Good defense. Come down with the rebound. Good. Scotty gets the rebound, kicks it to Ty. We got a two-on-one over here. And Jalen 
gets the open shot. Three pointers, no good. And IMG gets a chance to push. And Tyrese gets called for a block. But I like that uh, try there, even though it was out at near half court. I watched Tyrese take a charge when he was playing with you in the first semester uh, in the really like maybe the last minute of a game and was a game changer. He, he's not afraid to take charges. Good basketball IQ. Once again, very unselfish guy. Uh, when he's on the floor, you know, you can trust him. He's going to run what you want to run. He's going to put guys in the right spots. You know, he, once again, he is that guy that knows basketball and he knows how to, uh, he knows what the coach is, is looking for. Yep. And, and that's what every, you know, college coach wants from their point guard. They want a floor general. They want somebody who's going to be able to run their offense and kind of be on the same uh, wave pattern, wavelength as the head coach. And a little wet spot on the floor. Looks like it's taken care of now. But I think DME is going to switch to a 2-3 here. And they are with a smaller group and a little foul trouble. Not a bad decision there from Coach Kevin. And a little, just a nice little change is always good. Not letting the offense get comfortable with what you're doing defensively. You're exactly right, Coach. And ball deflected out of bounds. It is DME basketball with a 29-point lead. Ball's inbounded to Jalen. To Matt. IMG really sticking with this zone. They don't feel confident in their man-to-man. -man. And right there, good ball movement. Shot clock winding down for DME. Chris Warner, three-pointer, no good. But the smallest guy on the floor gets the rebound. But unable to control it. And silly, unforced turnover there from IMG. And 13 minutes to go in this game. Again, we have another game next. It'll be post-grad blue taking on IMG post-grad national team. Should be an exciting game. Um, just like this one, and, and uh, good ball movement. And Jalen was fouled on the floor, so that wouldn't have counted anyways, but He's, Man, he's got some springs. A, he's got some hops, bro. Got some springs. I like I like this um, excitement from, yeah. the, from him, you know. <laughs> well, I want to see him get out in transition and get one now, man. I mean, yeah. that was nice. He went baseline and went off with two feet, one dribble. That was nice. That's almost like a big man. That's somebody like you. <laughs> I don't think so. Not quite like that. Good defense right there, and Q forces the turnover. What a silly uh, turnover again. Two back-to-back -back turnovers from IMG, and uh, DME looking to capitalize. Balls into Q, back out to Matt, back to Q, wide open three-pointer, and man, he has been great. He's, I believe, three for three from the three-point line today. Played good defense, has a couple assists, rebounds. He's been everywhere. I'm telling you, his, when you go back and you look at the stats and, and you look at his minutes and what he brings to the table today, he's going to be in the plus. Uh, he, he's causing a lot of havoc, and he's giving you a lot in those minutes that he's playing. And that's what every coach is looking for. I know you look at it. Coach mm -hmm. West looks at it. And, you know, we all look at it uh, to kind of help determine the pluses and minuses of that player. Yeah. And uh, – you got to be able to do other things than just scoring with yeah. your minutes. Mm -hmm. And Q has done it, man. I yeah, mean, he's yeah. He's been efficient, shooting the ball. He's gotten his teammates involved. And, and as a point guard, that's, that's what you want, you know. And the bench production for DME today has been great. Yes, it has. It has not fallen off. Each man has stepped on the floor and contributed uh, a lot of energy and effort. Uh, and, that's, and that's what coach wants. He, 
he wants you to come on the floor and contribute to the program. You know, and that mm-hmm. doesn't necessarily mean scoring, but it does mean playing great defense, sharing the ball on offense, getting the rebound. Look, ah, Gustavo was he was open for a second. And Jalen with a strong drive and finish. He's got eight points now for DME. And right there, easy transition basket for IMG. And Jalen with the up and under, and he finishes with the English off the glass. And he's going to get a chance for a three-point play as Kareem checks back into the game for Q here. I'm sorry. I'm being selfish, man. I wanted to see the dunk. (laughs) I wanted to see the the little fella get up and put two hands on the rim again. Instead, oh, free throw's no good. Good deflection there by Kareem. He's a lefty. And a steal. Look at that guy there. Coach Kevin just told me at halftime, he thinks Kareem's got really quick hands. I didn't notice it, but right there he just had two deflections and comes up with the steal. Scotty, open three-pointer. No good, but he stepped out. You know, I think this NBA line on our court is, is confusing a lot of people. Nah. I don't think it's confusing, brother. I it doesn't confuse me. <laughs> As a player, I knew I had to put my toes on the line because I, I didn't have much range. But um, our guys, they, they love to shoot out at the NBA range. They do. They like to uh, try to prove a point, and, and tell, they tell me all the time, hey, coach, this is my range, you know. <laughs> I said, okay, okay. Ball was deflected out of bounds. It's IMG ball. Good play there. Open three pointers, no good. Look. Scotty with the rebound, and uh oh. Matt Larson. Oh, double dribble. Decides to slow it down, gets it back to Scotty. Gustavo now back to Scotty. To Kareem. That hit every part of the rim. No good. And Matt dribbles it back out for another three. Matt. And that one. From downtown. I see you, Matt. Ten points, and this is DME's largest lead of the game. Rebounded by Scotty, but loses the handle. And Kareem again gets another steal, but there was a foul on the play. I think it was on Scotty. It was, so that'll be DME's six-team foul. No free throws yet. Ten minutes to go. The score is 80 to 45. DME cruising. But they haven't checked out. You know, yeah. they are continuing to play hard as we just see Scotty with a steal. And finish. <laughs> Scotty, good play. He's got five points for DME. These guys are locking in, coach. They're switching. They're talking now. They're playing a little better defense. Oh, spoke too soon. I did. I did. But that's a good play there, splitting that switch on the ball screen. And, and uh, you know, they're going to make some plays. Right. Kareem, open triple, no good. Don't run it. There you go, Gustavo. Great job stopping the guy with the ball. Rotations there. Ah. And finish. That's a good drive and kick right there. Drop off for the big fella inside. And uh, DME breaks this pressure, this little token pressure easily. Looks like a foul there, but Jalen killer crossover, and he, he loves to finish with his left hand. And right there he does, and they're going to call a blocking foul. And so they're going to the count the basket. Basket counts. Jalen will go to the line to shoot one. Jalen's now in double figures with 10 points. Free throw is up, and it is good. Now with 11. 
DME stays in their 2-2-1. Two, two, They're going to continue to stay in it, continue to bring the pressure, and make IMG work for every little thing. And now we got, oh, they had him in the corner, Coach. Yep. yep. And another steal from Kareem. Hey, I bet you didn't know he had quick hands. Now I do. <laughs> Scotty, shot fake, easy extra pass to Matt. Matt drives, unable to finish. Euro step floater with the left. That's a nice move there. Just under eight and a half minutes to go in this game. Scotty now to Jalen. Jalen gets to the middle to Matt. He drives baseline, dump off to Gustavo. One extra Scotty, three pointer. Bang. Bang. That's that's good basketball. Everybody touched the ball on that possession. Not only um, that, it started on that side, the floor. Mm -hmm. Got worked his way to the left side all the way back to the right side. And Once again, this is your resume. This is what we're sending out to these college coaches saying, hey, look, I can play great defense for you. Yep. Eighty-eight fifty-one, eight minutes to play. What an exciting game so far. It's been a group, uh, you know, win so far hey. to get this lead. Everybody's added to this lead, led by Bailey with 20 points. And right there, IMG comes out of the timeout with a good play and a good bucket. Has uh, the black team ever scored 100 points, Coach? That's a good question. I think they have. I know they've given up 100 points. Um, I think they have scored 100, though. Today should be an easy one to get to 100, as Matt, high arcing three-pointer from deep is no good. Ball, good ball movement from IMG so far. Good switch, good switch and help side. Fade away, shot in the corner is no good. Re rebounded by Scotty. Passes it up the floor to Matt. And Matt looks to slow it down. Out to Gustavo, strong drive. That ball is deflected, blocked, and IMG rebounds it. And bad transition defense right there leads to an easy basket for IMG. Always protect the rim first. Kareem to Jalen, skip pass to Matt. Gets into the paint, drops it off for, for Gustavo. Jalen, good decision, slows it down. Drives it and deflects it. 10 seconds on the shot clock, it's still DME ball. Chris Warner checks in for Matt Larson. And this is these last six minutes, man. You don't want to see your program start getting sloppy. You know, we've been doing really well the entire game and been playing with mm -hmm. a lot of passion, a lot of energy, making shots, making the extra pass, playing with good defense, and you don't want to lose it these last six minutes of the ball game. Yep. Regardless of what the score is, you want to continue to keep that, that, that foot on the throttle, Coach and continue to uh, work on your craft. Yep, and, and continue to improve. Kareem fouled, splits the one and one, but Chris Warner, good hustle play, gets the offensive rebound. Gives DME an extra 20 seconds. Jalen, stop, pop, no good. Chris Warner, another offensive rebound, and he's fouled. 
Great energy from Chris, Chris Warner off the bench. We had an exciting game yesterday, Coach. I'll tell you. Led by Gabe Gonzalez with the middle school group. Getting yes, a big sir. win over Montverde's middle school team. That was huge. From the tip off to the end, I was locked in watching, you, watching the young. And we are back. DME with a 34-point lead. Chris Warner, number 33, getting a chance to shoot two free throws. After this will be DME postgrad blue taking on IMG's national postgrad team. Uh, should be an exciting game. Last year uh, we we played a good game here and the year before that we played a great game here and took the win uh, when they had Anthony Simmons so that was a big win for DME and, and hopefully this year we can get another big win good transition there to pass from Bailey up to Chris and Chris with a good finish on the break these guys are, are, are sharing the ball that I'm sure they we probably have at least somewhere between 18 to 20 assists, you know, and our turnovers, Coach, our turnovers are low. Yeah. And and that's a great turnover uh, assist to turnover ratio. Bailey, NBA range three, no good. But rebounded by Gustavo. Chris unable to finish. But good hustle. Deflects it out of bounds. Still IMG ball. Everybody has scored from DME except Gustavo so far today. I'd like to see him get a couple touches inside where he lo loves to play. Bailey with the rebound. Up to Kareem. Kareem with the drive. Ball deflected. Kicks it back out to Bailey. Where, where are you going, Bailey? Out to Chris. And he takes the NBA range three. No good. And transition defense, again, has been a big uh, key for DME. I think they can improve on. Yeah. I, I think they're starting to scoreboard watch. And, yeah. uh, you know, it, and it's, it's hard. These guys are 18, 19-year-olds, mm -hmm. and you're trying to ask them to play great defense for 40 minutes, you know, when they, they've done it for probably about 30, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, and now they're getting a little sloppy because they want to play offense. Mm -hmm. Chris now in the corner just knocked down a three. This time gets his ball deflected, and that's a turnover. Ball up and transition again. You know, it's, hard to, it's hard to have good transition defense when you turn the ball over. But uh, like you said, DME has done a good job keeping their turnovers down for the most part today. Scotty now. With the extra pivot, his shot is just off. And here comes IMG. Long distance three-pointers, no good. Gustavo with the rebound, up to Chris. Find Scotty on the cut. Reverse layup, no good. 
That, and that was a great look, great cut by Scotty. Yeah. And great pass. It just didn't finish it, but I take that, you know. Uh, now coach is calling the play, you know. He wants them to settle down a little bit and run something. Work on execution here. And Chris, not sure if that was the play or not, but I think Coach Kevin will take it. And IMG is going to call timeout, and we will take a Whoa. short. No, no. It's oh, just okay, subs. just just subs. So they're gonna they're gonna keep playing. DME has pretty much wiped the floor with IMG so far today, uh, which is always nice. Always nice, a little bit of a in-state rivalry between IMG and DME in the in the post-grad world and in the high school world, and that's a that's a nice bucket right there, deep three-pointer for IMG. A little high ball screen action. We went underneath the shooter there, and almost a turnover, but Bailey recovers it to Kareem. Kareem with the shot fake, gets into the paint, finds a wide open Scotty. Bailey skies for the rebound and unable to finish, but he's fouled. This game is just about over, and it has been the DME show so far. It's a great segue for, uh, for Post Brad Blue to come in. They, mm -hmm. Now they got to sit here and uh, match the intensity that Black brought as well as the scoring power. And the defense prowl. You know, it, it starts with it, man. Oh, yeah. And uh, because last time we played IMG, IMG really had the defensive prowl on us. And uh, now we get a chance to to, to play them again. Mm-hmm. On. on our floor. Yeah, and IMG's national post-grad team is a really good team. Yeah, they, they really are. They're well coached. They're well disciplined. And uh, those guys, they play. And it's funny. You know, I, I got a chance to sit down with Coach West and talk about that and how uh, try to figure out what they do offensively and why they're so good. And uh, Coach West and I, we, we were baffled because – they weren't really running any plays. Yeah. You know, those guys kind of spread the floor out, and I love that move by Gustavo. Just couldn't finish it. Right, give it back to him. He's working on oh, You got to look. Find the big fella. Gustavo for three. And the crowd <laughs> stood up on that one, and so did you, Coach. But uh, unable to knock it down is Gustavo. And here comes IMG. But, yeah, this, this IMG post-grad national team is really talented and, and athletic. I think they play differently than we do, um, than all of our post-grad teams, really. The blue team uses skill more than necessarily athleticism, although they have a, a couple good athletes. Um, the IMG team is super physical, super athletic, and they get down and they guard you and they pressure you. Um, something that we may not be used to, you, you're exactly right. We don't see that uh, from a lot of other programs. And, uh, I mean, they got a lot of good talent. Yep. And DME going to have this. This probably going to be their last possession as Gustavo's shot is blocked. And they will basically, or they should at least, hold the ball. But they don't. And now they decide to hold it. A little scare there. thought we were going to turn it over. But <laughs> DME holds on to the win. And, Coach, they got 100. They got 100 tonight. 100 to 66. DME post-grad black takes down IMG. Next up will be our DME post-grad blue, coached by Coach Wesson Malsus, against IMG's post-grad national.